created the world of expectations locked off as well. Moving on from high school to college is here is Adonai Mitchell to transfer left tackle in in the run game. He didn't give up a sack defensively today, but offensively out of sorts. Pressure again. And in commits. Sanders in motion. Ewer is to throw down the middle. Adonai Mitchell touchdown. About some uh, sweet feet. There were some sweet feet on the outside, but look at all of these defenders for Rice. The heavy, heavy run action. Just a one man route out there. 80 yards. And then just trying, just pressing, right? Just wanting to do a little bit too much instead of the game come to you. Ewer's off his back forehead, and he throws it up. Another area they need to improve from a year ago. On the trick play, Adonai Mitchell makes a cut and bangs downfield, loses the ball. Tip of the cap for holding up on third down. And Worthy, it's a backwards pass. He can throw it, launching downfield. Contested balls. It's for Alabama a year ago, 15 in the escape at Austin, most in the Saban era. Yeah, lateral, so he can throw this ball. And if you look close, you'll see, without a doubt, Arnold started to feel threatened. He does a good job right there. He grabs onto that jersey, and he does it again and again. He Crucial situation for you was to take care of the football down here. They're going to throw it on first down. They launch it one-on-one. -on -one. Going up. Make How about yours? How about start calling this? Throws the football up in the air and over top of the corner. Take it to Brooks. Yours looking across the middle, and it's incomplete. Way up and down night for Arnold, right? I mean, he's made some plays and he's made some mistakes. This time he does a good job of reacting. One. Yours has time, but it's incomplete. Try to get it to sing a second and seven. Yours. He takes a downfield shot and ball. 50 yard chunk. Sets up first and goal. Play fake. Ewers. Slam. Touchdown. Be a superstar. He has his eyes in the backfield. What I love here is watch Ewers wait for the right time. Let him clear the freshman. And he throws it. It's really showing tonight. Ewers from the pocket. Launching downfield. Match. He's reading this safety. Downs. And he's got receivers underneath the impact the safety so he knows again we saw this earlier on the left side this time they go to the right creates a one second and 15 Ewers quick pass and behind AD mid whenever you're taking a look right there seems as though the ball is right behind him he can't sell it in front of him. quick out AD Mitchell staying up for occasion to convert on fourth down Play action. And that is complete to AD. Another clean pocket for Ewers, and this is open for AD Mitchell. Remember, we talked about keeping Quinn clean in the pocket. Offensive line, along with Jonathan Brooks, keeps it clean and free. Out at the 16, so second down and six. Ewers downfield, got a receiver open, caught at the 32 yard line for, from Georgia. Offensive line like a brick wall there protecting Quinn Ewers. Years of junior college, empty set for Ewers on second and long. Wide open across the middle of the field is Adonai Mitchell, and he has a first. And boy, he has grown as a leader. Talk with Jalen Ford yesterday. This team, they're all in behind their quarterback. Going down to try to grab that. Excited about those guys. and. Still just scratching the surface of what they're capable of as Mitchell takes a little swing pass up the sidelines for another first. The opener, but has bounced back beautifully the last two weeks. They come up to the line quickly. Ewers over the middle. Coach also calls the plays, and he's one of the very best in all of football at it. Ewers to midfield. They bring pressure, does Kansas. Ewers on target. First, averaging 14 yards per play. Viewers. They're on the move again and deeper into the playbook. Mitchell. Now. Viewers the fake. Given plenty of time. Has his man. It's Mitchell again. 
Chopped down at the third. Joel. This is a really nice route. You see the stack right there. The way they kind of time up when the guy runs through and A.D. Mitchell just sitting at... Texas will get the ball to open the second half. Ewers, Mitchell! First... After the play fake, plenty of time. Ewers deep up for grabs. And third down and three. Texas has not punted today. Over the middle, good catch by Mitchell. And he gets the first down. Brad Nye Mitchell. Another good pocket, another lofty pass down the field, incomplete. Got to get close enough to try a field goal and take a two-score lead. Ewers flushed, back over the middle, nice catch by Mitchell. Quinn Ewers on the design roll, lobs it back. He's a much better player this year, with a lot of talent around him. Third and eight, end zone, touchdown! It's a great job by Quinn Ewers. He keeps his eyes to the right-hand side. He sees that corner stay shallow, which gives him plenty of room to... The players of what they were doing on each side of the ball. Ewers on target. They're not... College football playoff aspirations. Trying to make it a more impressive win. Catch made, Mitchell. He run support today. Ewers has the football, gets it out, almost threw it. it did... Watch the hesitation by Ewers. He's unsure, he's unsure. He throws it anyway to Whittington. And now a first down throw across the middle and the catch and downfield yeah. for the Longhorns to wipe away that pass. Yeah, they're going to get him. They're going to bring this back. You can see how he's using that pre-snap movement. Dark's offense being 109th in a nation of touchdown percentage in the red zone. It's an area they've really emphasized. He was on the move. Flag is down. Our game. Yours has a lot of time, which hasn't happened very often today, and delivers a long. He's no longer playing safety. He's now playing corner. Yours. Right there. Again, finds a man open. It's worthy in space. Pick it on the man. We know about Sark being an elite play caller. Look at this. Oh, in the corner, it is caught. Touchdown. Like and I Mitchell, and he was wide open. His fifth touchdown reception. Well, his name is special, and his mom gave it to him for a reason. He could have used some help on this one right here. Adonai, man, just got turned around to that outside that corner. Ball thrown over, and I think it makes this team better. Fourth and two, Ewers out of the gun. Look out, that one is incomplete. Turnovers, TCU with a pick, and then they cough it up right back. Ewers back to throw, looking, firing, and he has Mitchell, but he overthrew him. Is Mitchell still jawing with some of the TCU fan base? Boy, well, Adonai Mitchell's been so good for Texas here. How about that route? Inside out, completely throws off Avery Helm in coverage. That's just a missed opportunity for... Six offensive linemen in there for Texas. They'll throw it. Viewers made. Mitchell adjusts. Makes the catch. Touchdown, Texas. Adonai Mitchell with his ninth touchdown of the year and Texas extends the lead well the route once again from Adonai Mitchell head fake inside this pass delivered outside where only Mitchell can make a play on the football perfectly placed a good strong hands to secure the catch hands under that year Mark Ingram did that year they had ridiculous numbers first down Ewers looking downfield taking a shot Mitchell stopped running uh, in Texas territory, they don't have a point, and they just turned it over on downs. Ewers throwing from the middle of his end zone, gets rid of it at the last second, going for Mitchell, and the pass is on the money. Boy, has Ewers. Ewers from the pocket, taking a shot, downfield. Mitchell, what an adjustment. He pulls it in. First down, testing in midair to make a great catch. Wow, what a play by Adonai Mitchell. Over the shoulder, adjusts to the ball on the fly, and brings it in as he falls to the ground. Just incredible concentration. Pitching catch, because in part, they're without Jonathan Brooks, who tore his ACL last week, and this one goes the Brock Purdy of the defense, said his coaches. Quinn Ewers to throw. That's over the middle. It's a catch for Adonai Mitchell. 
Ewers scanning, running. Ewers wants to throw on the go. Flag comes in. It's into the end zone. And it's Adonai Mitchell for a touchdown if it stands. Both defenses live here. Pressure coming. Ewers back foot into the end zone. Incomplete. Oh, these are two NFL dudes. Chest to chest, hip to hip. Everything an inside vertical. And there's just no separation. And I Mitchell, one of the best in the country. Second and nine. Ewers will throw far side. Just this. But at the line of scrimmage is just running, run action. That same counter action they ran earlier. When Ewers knows if I've got space, if seven Verdon gives me a lane, I'm going to come up and I'm going to. Third and nine. Ewers lobs it middle of the field, knocked away one handed. That is teaching tape. I think Haycock is waving and saying, put that one on the real chip. First down throw, pitch and catch for Adonai for Texas. Ewers. Deep ball down the sideline. It's short, and Mitchell forced the poor throw. It's a big takeaway for the Longhorns. Ewers setting up off play action. And again, the receiver of this Texas football team. Yours underthrown and intercepted in the end zone. Look, just one on one with Adnai Mitchell. And he's trying to throw the fade. He doesn't get any air underneath the football. And I love the ball. Helping with this rushing attack. Yours throwing this time. Open in the middle of the field. But gets 20 yards there to the 10. Again, RPO linebackers. Yours to the air. Everybody covered. Throws it out of the back of the end zone. Ewers throws it. Man open in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Adonai Mitchell. Great misdirection here from Steve Sarkeesian. Fakes the pitch. Boots Ewers out. He gives a quick pump fake to the flat. And Adonai Mitchell creating great separation in the back end against Corey Black as the Dr. Pepper pylon cam. Killer. Ewers out wide and up, up holding the call on the field. It certainly wasn't obvious that it was a catch. Long throw. That one put Oklahoma State get a stop for the first time today. They rush four. Ewers has a man wide open again. Adonai Mitchell. He tripped up. But another huge play for the Horn, 63 yards. And this was an incredible route and so well timed by Quinn Ewers. He threw the ball initially as the Cowboys locker room. He has run back onto the field, seemed to be moving well. And this has been the goal since way before the season started. Win the Big 12 championship in the last year in the conference. Beautiful throw by Ewers, a nice hands. Way their number one guy. Ewers on third down and seven. Over the middle. Here's an offensive line for Texas. They had all five starters back from last year. That ball to 1,791 here tonight. That's a sellout in the Superdome. 66 yards in penalties. They average 51 per game coming in. Middle of the pack in the country. Here's Adonai. They faked it to him, and it is. Adonai Mitchell with perfectly placed football by Quinn Ewers high into the back shoulder where his six foot four wide receiver on the outside can go up time it perfectly and reel it in Good Terrific, thing he has some hang time terrific execution there and a massive score for the Longhorns off the clock but still nearly a full half a quarter to go Mitchell his 11th time <laughs> Here's yours. They need a lot and they need it fast. This is back on the field to the left end of the line. They lob it up for release. Down the middle again. Sanders didn't. No timeouts. The clock's running. They're down by six. 25 seconds to go. To the end zone and incomplete. Look. When Ewers trying to take advantage of the significant mismatch that it 
Second and 11 from the 13 yard line. Under 10 seconds to go. Ewers back of the end zone. Texas trailing all night long. One last chance to advance to the national championship game. Ewers loves it up and it is in to secure the victory. You cannot play the fade any better than that on a critical down and distance. Well executed on a game that didn't appear like it was going to have drama at the finish. It delivered.